Welcome back to the Grateful Rose River Homestead. I'm your host, Papa Bear. Stay tuned, I got a video for you. It is Monday the 13th. Kind of strange to say 13th. Um, but today is Monday the 13th, and as you can see, we're in the, I'm in the house. Um, the weather this week is not going to be uh, good weather to get out and do any telling. Maybe on, I think, Thursday, but we have, uh, Carmen has a dental thing to go to on Thursday, so uh, most likely I will not be doing any tilling, uh, finishing up the tilling this week. So because of the weather, and we have crazy a high weather is I thought well I might as well start doing something else I mean I get kind of bored just sitting here uh, yesterday we had uh, uh, one of our sons down and then the grandkids were down and uh, Paisley girl made her famous strong bullies so good I can't wait for lunch I'm hungry it's already going on noon um, but yeah so the grandkids were here last yesterday evening and, and it was just a great time family time you know that's a great time. So, what is Papa Bear getting into? Well, are you ready for it? Here we go. Well, this is going to be the future doorway to Carmen's bedroom. This is what I'm into this week. Um, I just got everything cleaned out of it. I uh, got everything cleaned out of it. Uh, Hang on a second here. Try to tilt you here a little bit. But I got everything uh, cleaned out of it. I don't know. There we go. Got everything cleaned out of it. All the way down the floor is all cleaned out. This is where they had, the original own, owners had the refrigerator. Now our refrigerator is right there. That's where we have our refrigerator set up and we like it. It's a nice evenly flow through the, the kitchen area. Um, so... This is where we had our tin foil and uh, extra stuff. Dog food was kept in here. Um, so that stuff will eventually go into, uh, once we block off the other door that goes into Carmen's room, that will be turned into a little closet for all that stuff. So, um, But yeah, so I got everything cleared out of it. So basically today... I had uh, some people come over to the house today to uh, do some measurements for, see if we can get a price quote on a ramp. It's already going on 1 o'clock, and so today I just wanted to kind of, today's uh, vlogging uh, will be uh, starting in this DIY project. It doesn't look like it's going to be too complicated um, to get into. I just got to break, uh, bust off these, these shelves here, these ones up here. Um, this one here is pretty loose. I don't see, you can see this one's pretty not going to be the difficult one. This one here is uh, going to be a difficult one. Now, I believe, yeah, see, these are just nailed in here. I think that's why they put this wallpaper over here. It looks like they're just screwed in here. So, these probably will be coming out pretty easily. Hope so. Uh, let's look up here. This one's nailed. These are this one's nailed in. I felt it pretty, pretty good here. See how easy that just came off there. Now I'll save that because we might use it for trimming or something. Um. So that was pretty easy to remove. Yeah, this one is nailed in too. So these are just two by fours that just need to get busted out. Um, might I? I don't know if I'm going to remove the side walls here. I don't know yet. Personally, I don't think I do need to. Um, but I do need to get these two by fours out. Uh, that goes into here. They only go back to here. Um, these shelves here are pretty. 
I was going to say they're pretty easy to move. Take a little sledgehammer work. We'll do uh, knock that out. This one here, these are screwed in, so I can probably most likely remove these. Now that screw's busted off, so. But it won't take much to get these off here. Um, this is this drywall here. They, you can see the drywall tape here. I don't know if you really can see in here or not. We, I'm bouncing you around. This is this drywall tape here. Um, the only electrical uh, issue is um, on the other side of the wall is, um, I believe, as an outlet inside Carmen's room. Her whole room has got more outlets than I've ever seen in a bedroom. I don't know what. I've just never seen so many outlets. Usually in a bedroom, I think there's like, what, two, three, or four? Especially order homes, I, I you know, you might have two in there. Um, but she's got... I know she's got six along this wall all the way down. There's like six here. She's got two on the other side. And I think one by her main window. So, I mean, there's like... <laughs> it's a lot of outlets. There is an outlet down here. You won't be able to really see it. Here, let me take you off here. There is an outlet right here. This is what we had our mini fridge on. That, that we just ran the cord over here. Um, once I get the, uh, turn off the electric, um, and I don't know how much of a pull. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't. I was going to say, we could run that along here, but what I did is I just ran the, the cord up along this, this lip here, and then run it over here to our, um, this was already done here by the previous owner. Um, sometimes these, um, if you're running the microwave here, um, and the um, Foodie Ninja over there, Together, it sometimes will kick off the breaker. Um, so, tomorrow will be demolition day. Today was just getting things in here and looking at it. And starting tomorrow, I will do a video on of getting this stuff all taken off. What I probably will do with the cord down there, this electric box, is I will just simply uh, turn off the power, uh, disconnect it. And just drop it down in the hole so we don't even have to worry about it. Um, we'll go over here real quick. I'll show you. Oh, around we go, around we go. Hang on a second here. Gotta pause Carmen TV. I don't want someone to, I don't want YouTube to get me copy. So, right basically, right here is where we're going to be putting the this door will be coming through there let me see here i want to move her bed out for now oh well good i thought there was an outlet here there's two there isn't that weird to see two outlets right back to back like that especially in an older home okay so she does not have any outlets on this up well, okay, so she has all the outlets on this wall. The outlets are on this side. Okay, so there is no outlet here. So that's a really a huge uh, relief. So I don't have to worry about any electrical on this wall at all. Um, I do not know what this is up here um, because our ducking system is in the floors. I do not know what this is. It is very, it's hollow. I mean, you can... You hear that? There's nothing there. I don't know what that was made for. I don't know if it was part of the original porch because out here is the original porch light. And this would have been the porch where our bedroom's at. So this is where they just left the porch light. I didn't see. Um, sorry, Carmen's room is a mess, but you know, it's sometimes when you have a little toddler in your house. Um, so tomorrow we'll be moving that out. Ugh. 
we are back and forth we row together um so this door here will be closed off we'll close that off and then her bed will be right here coming out um and this will be her little nook her bedroom duck nook um probably gonna have to remove the animal net um, and place that somewhere else. I don't have not had a clue where I'm going to move that yet Because um, it's working out really great there and she's got all of her other animals over there. So uh, Might have to put it over there over the window more um, Well, I won't know until we get through the wall um, But like I said, I don't think it's going to be too hard. I got the saw saw ready to do the saw one through here, do, do, do we come through here? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be too hard to get through here. I mean, you can hear. I mean, it's it's not it's it's flexing right now as it is. So I I don't I think once I get through the wood part because in her room it's all drywall. So I think once I get through here, um, I'm just trying to see. Looks like there's some nail nails right up here. Um, yeah, there's a nail right there. I can see it popping through. So, and all these these things here are just screwed in. So that's easy. These will be screwed out. Um, this one here is really simple. I think the most challenging part of this project will be um, removing these. Uh, two by fours out. Now this one up here does not have any up there at all. So that will simply be probably a couple bangs on the hammer and that thing will pop right out. Um, of course I could be wrong. Um, this one here seems to be pretty solid. Um, it almost is kind of let me see here. I got my little step ladder here. We'll see if there's if it's nailed down or screwed in. I'm sure it's probably nailed down. Armin's giving me directions on construction. <laughs> okay, so there it is not. I can't really. Let me see here. Turn some light on here. Okay, it looks like some little pin nails. You can see the little pin nail right there. And I think it's the same thing over here on this side. And then this is this. It's pretty flat back there. I didn't know all the cobwebs were back there. Huge. Got dirty. Now this trim up here we'll leave alone. The trim down the sides will not be touched. And it will be just simply this shelf removed. This shelf removed. See how I can I mean that thing is. It won't take much stuff a couple bangs on it and be popped right out hopefully um and this is the same way i'm sure yep it's got the little pin nails right here see the little pin nails they're just little tiny pin nails the biggest one will be these here because these have got the big uh penny size or the big nail the two by four nailed into it so i think this will be the hardest part but i think i have a tool that you can get behind this and should be able to wedge this right out. If I can get these two out of here, I'll be, we'll be in the home stretch. <clears throat> where there? Now there is uh, down here this, on this little shelf. Same looks like the same setup. Yep, it's just got the screws in there. So that won't be too hard. I'm sure this shelf will not be too hard to re-remove. Um, so like I said, once we get the 2 by 4s out in this, then, uh, that'll be tomorrow's just, uh, just going into demolition and basically getting everything removed from here. I'm going to throw over the ladder here. Sorry to focusing on you. I do love this new phone that I got. The videoing system is really amazing on it. So... That is it for today's video. Tomorrow we'll tune in. Uh, tomorrow we'll be picking up in the video of me 
basically demolishing this area and getting a new door put in. Um, it's going to be really nice to have a new door put in. Or no way we can just come out the kitchen straight into Carmen's room. And mommy and daddy will have a nice privacy again. She's got a set. Because mom comes home late at night and uh, she uh, likes to talk to us through the door and stuff. And it's just, there's not much privacy. <laughs> Take off my glasses because I got the light on. I forgot to turn it off. But hey. All right, so we'll see you in the next clip, which will be Tuesday the 14th, and that will be the day of tearing down the shelves and, and getting all these out of here, and, uh, and that'll be tomorrow's clip. Good morning, good morning, everybody. It is uh, Tuesday the 14th, and today is the day we get started on this, making us into the future doorway to Carmen's room. Well... I turned off all the power so we can disconnect this. We are good to go to cut the power box. That will be our first project um, on this video journey. Um, and then we'll uh, remove all these little screw ends here, which are not going to be too hard to do. Just basically unscrew these but uh let's get in here first and uh cut the power box off and uh that way we can uh get the lights back on and uh and then we'll come back here after i cut this off all right i would show it on video but uh <laughs> i don't want to get electrocuted on video okay so in case i my meter here does not work properly <laughs> But I do have all the power off here in the kitchen. Um, there's a light right there. So um, I think I got all the power off to this area here. Um, so, uh, um, yeah, let me uh, get this cut off and we'll bring you right back. Well, I'm still alive. <laughs> Did not get executed. Praise the Lord for that. But there's the box all removed. Um, Keep it. Um, never know when you might need a spare outlet and a box. So, uh, but the cover is pretty much shot. Um, already uh, wired off the the, uh, the wiring that was to that. Uh, wired it up and duct tape or electric tape, um, and already put it back down in the hole. So now that's no longer there. So, the next is slowly work our way up to these. Um, my plan is to, um, I forgot my electric screwdriver uh, drill um, in case I need it. I got all the other tools, the saw saw and everything else last night, but I, I, I meant to get it out this morning when I just went out to feed the rabbits. And, uh, of course, I went out twice to turn on the power because our fuse box um, circuit breakers are down below um, um, so they're down below so um, I had to go down twice and I first time I was like oh when I go back out to turn it back on I'll get the my uh, drill um, in case I need to see if I can't remove some of these screws um, so I will have to go get the drill and I will be right back I think I have all the tools I need for this project. But with any project, you know, safety is the key thing here, okay? Um, I don't need to wear safety glasses. Or I probably could wear them over these. Um, um, but make sure you have a nice pair of work gloves if you're doing anything like this. Um, it just saves your hands from getting cut or anything like that. Um, Hey, the girl said last night to me, she goes, what's behind that wall? I said, Carmen's room. She's like, no, I mean, like, could there be wires? Well, that's the question. Um, is there wires behind there? I have no clue. I pray there's not. <laughs> um, but when we go to start cutting into this, we're going to do small cuts. 
Um, and that way we can kind of, as we go through it, you never know when there might be electrical wire there. So as we cut, we're just going to make small cuts, look, and if there's a wire there, then we'll have to deal with that at that point. Um, I really personally don't think there is any wiring, um, just because um, the electric box was on the outside here with the wire running up the, uh, from the, the cellar. Um, so I don't think there is any wires behind here. Um, if there was, I believe there would be a wires, you know, the wire would be coming through the wall. Um, in this case, if it's coming up from the floor, we already know on the other side of this wall, there is no outlets. Okay. Um, so we should be okay. Now, like I said, there is them two outlets that are along this wall here. Um, now, is there a possibility that wires are running from this side? That I don't know. But I know that they're lower to the floor. So, like I said, we'll start up here and work our way, way down the wall doing the cuts. That way, if there is a case, there is wires. If there is, we will take that time, turn off all the power again, and uh, use our electric meter there to see if they're live. If they're live, then we need to um, uh, turn off all the electric, and at that time we will have to snip them and get them out of the way, uh, because that, that's not going to be a hindrance for us. Um, so, that's further down in the video here. Alright, so let's get removing the all these little pegs, and then we will... Remove the bottom shelves, all the bottom shelves, get all them removed out of here, and then work our way up to here, okay? So we're just going to unscrew all these little hooks, which are really nice because they come in handy for a lot of things. You can hang your pot holders on it. Um, these were throughout the house when we moved in here. Um, including these bigger hooks like this um, again we don't throw anything away like that because you never know when you might need something to hang up on a wall uh, picture or whatever um, that could really come in handy they're a little big to hang on pictures but if you have like a I don't know uh, for example we have climbing uh, vines Paisley Girl has house plants in here that have climbing vines um, that could be something you use to dangle them or hang them vines on. So, uh, again, we're not going to throw anything away. Even the wood that we have here, if it's not a total loss, um, if they don't, you know, are not splintered or anything like that, we could still use these. Uh, we just have to remove the nails from them and we could use them for some kind of building project around the property. Including these uh, boards up here. Now you notice it's really quiet in here right now. <laughs> that will shortly uh, disappear because Carmen right now is asleep. Um, but what way to wake her up? <laughs> but it is, it's not early in the morning anymore. It's actually, eh, it's going on about 10 o'clock, so it's about time for her to get up, anyways. I'm just going along here and just removing these pegs. Now if you had a pair of these that are real um, tight and you can't really do anything with them, you can always put a screwdriver in between these. And use a pair of pliers to twist it and get it up to be loose. These are uh, not that tight, so I'm 
are pretty easy and they're not like you know uh, majorly in there like for example like this one here you can see that it has a nice uh, screw point on it these can be kind of tricky to get removed but these little tiny ones nah. Tell you a funny story last night um, we have a light in the very back of the property that comes on at night time now I had changed the bulb before we moved in it um, it's a little spotlight that we used to use to light up our plants and light up the side of our apartment um, we use it actually down at the camper a couple times uh, to light up the front of the camper um, the bulb in them lasts pretty much a long time because we, I can't remember how long I'd had it before I had to change the bulb, but I just changed that bulb before we moved here. And uh, the last couple of nights it had been out. And so I thought, well, the wind and stuff, maybe it came unplugged. Um, so I decided to go out there. <laughs> Instead of wearing my boots like I should, I was wearing a pair of Crocs. And, uh, it had been snowing all day and it kind of icy and there's a lip uh, down the, over there in the very back of the property and I happened to come over top of that walking and peeped from a wind underneath of me and let's just put it this way this morning I'm really feeling it especially with my lower back uh, Of course, Gypsy, she was back there with me, and she uh, kind of came over to me and just sat there beside me. Like, are you okay, Dad? Yeah, Dad's okay. Okay. I guess we'll just start over here. Take your time, there's no big rush on projects. Don't try to rush something. That's usually when something bad, something bad can happen if you rush. You just see I'm taking small little tugs here on my little crowbar. I'm trying to get these where it all comes out together. So 
Now the plan is that we're going to paint in here. Paisley Girl is going to do something really cool with it in here. Kind of make it like a little neat entranceway to her bedroom. That's Paisley Girl's apartment. I'm not a I'm not a really creative arty type person. I think art was kind of my not my forte. I didn't like it in school. I hated it. <clears throat> One screw down here just will not let go. I'm trying to get them all to come out together, but. Just take your time. Try not to be in a big rush. Yeah, so we'll sand all this down and then we'll put a nice, uh, well, Paisley Girl will be putting a nice uh, design. I'm sure she'll come up with something really creative. She's always like, always did the kids' room growing up. Take your time and go through this. Especially on drywall, you don't want to tear up the drywall too much. I mean, of course, it's going to happen. Um, that's why you'll have to go, be, you know, go behind it and fix all these little holes that are in it. what's holding this one board on because I've got Yesterday I rearranged Carmen's room. 
That way it'll be set up for just moving the bed. A lot of paint on there, so couldn't really tell.
I wanted to make sure the shelf wasn't going anywhere. Like I said, you never know what you're getting into until you start doing it. I brought the small crowbar in because I thought that's all I need. I really didn't. Be this difficult. In case you're wondering, yes, Carmen's awake now. <laughs> Yeah, this in this one section right here are 10 screws. Just in this section alone. You literally could stand on the shelf and it would not go anywhere. <laughs> there's so there's about six more screws just to the corner. So from here there's like 10 and six more back to this corner. Um I don't, I mean, it wasn't that big of a shelf, so I don't really know, know why they would need such a, um, I guess they were making sure that that shelf was not going anywhere. Um, whew. Definitely, uh, yeah, they were making sure that shelf wasn't going anywhere. Like I said, I could stand on this shelf, and probably me and Paisley Girl both could stand on the shelf. And if it was wide enough, probably me and Carmen and Paisley Girl could stand on the shelf. And this shelf was not going anywhere. Um, I, I very overkill on the screws. Very, very overkill, especially just for a shelf that you're sucking, you know, uh, 
I don't know what, I mean, it wasn't that big of a shell, so, I mean, you can't really put too much in there, so. Um, whew, overkill. Extreme overkill. <laughs> no. Little entertainment for you. Today I talked about this is gonna be a vlog. It's not. It's uh this is this uh I don't know what yet I'm gonna name this title of this video yet. Um it'll probably uh be titled something Doors the the Heavens. I don't know, maybe I'll name it after that shelf. Um uh, but this is not a vlog, this is a DIY project of creating a new door. Um I am no professional, by no means. Um, I'm just, I've learned, uh, I have many hats that I've learned over the career of my life. Uh, watching people, learning things, new jobs, uh, construction, I've done a little bit of everything. Um, if this was a brand new home and I, we wanted to build a doorway, I wouldn't even touch it. Just because, well, I wouldn't want to damage, you know, someone else's artwork. Um, this here house has a lot of bangs and dings and add-ons and things that are not properly done anyway. So the way I look at it is I'm not doing any damage here. Um, all we're doing is creating a new doorway and that way that uh, doorway that she has now goes into our bedroom will be closed off and we will have our own bedroom like we've always had. Um, so... Like I said, if this was a new build, I would not do this. I probably would have hired someone to come in and do it properly and know what they're doing better than I do. Um, which I don't think I'm doing too bad, I'll be honest with you. Uh, when you're doing any demolition, you're going to tear up things. You're going to have dings in the walls. And, of course, this already had a lot of dings in the walls. Uh, there's, like I said, there's the drywall tape here that's not been totally mud right. Um, so... This wall will have to be re mud and, and redone right. Um, this wall over here, I don't know what we're going to do with this yet. Um, like I said, I can sand this out really good and you wouldn't even know it. Um, but I want to first see what is above after we take this out. Because like right now I can see a big gapping hole here all the way through here. It's not even properly measured right looks like studs and I don't see studs up here so um, but this looks different than this does and see even this one yeah it goes back another inch and this one here so I don't know we'll just have to wait and see what happens when I remove this and this shelf here and what we're looking at here uh, because we might have to we might have to put a, a whole new piece of wall in here uh, maybe a piece of drywall all the way up um, and just get rid of this um, section here and, and these here if that's the case um, 
But see, I think, and like I said, I could be wrong. This, this doesn't, but this does. It matches this ball here. So, I don't know. We'll just have to see what we're looking at here. And once I get this out of here and this shelf out of here, what we're looking at. Like I said, we can always remove this wall and put and just run drywall all the way up to the ceiling and uh um yeah all right so i will bring you back here once i get uh uh into doing this shelf here but right now i gotta get uh carmen up and get her breakfast done well i know i said i'd bring you back when i got to ready to do the shelves um <laughs> I just got into the heat of it and couldn't stop. As you can see, the shelves are gone. Um, I'm thankful that I didn't have to saw on this side, which there is a switch right here, uh, which I knew there probably would be a cord there. But um, <laughs> instead of making this one piece, they put a board on the top of a two by four, which this piece here um, and I didn't know that it was sticking out too far anyway so um, with all the wood that's coming off the back here and as you can see that I already opened this up because I wanted to see what kind of stuff was behind here um, I don't think I saved I already took a lot of it some of the pieces out but this is a this is the old 1950 style wood. Um, I'll bring you in here closer in a minute. Um, matter of fact, it's got the old style, old fashioned nails um, in it. Um, but this is a, it's interesting when you see an old house and uh, you see an old house like this. Um, I don't see anything hanging up this uh, big, uh, a stud here um, so I will have to be uh, cutting that out uh, I'm going to be taking it over here to this section here um, once I get this cut out here I will um, be able to break loose the rest of this that's on here because um, this will be coming out I'm not going to touch the top um, this is actually the ceiling um underneath here is um what i can tell is uh the attic um so there's no reason to take this out we'll just have to paint that we're going to paint this whole one one color after i sand it down over here um got a little close here um but Paisley Girl talked about she wanted one day probably repaint this anyway. So, yeah. you know, when it comes to demolition, you never know what you're getting into. You never try to damage anything other than what you're working at. But sometimes it happens. You know, for example, this this here, if you stand right here, whenever whoever did this, you could see right through to the outside. You know, they didn't frame this in properly. Uh you can actually feel cold air coming in here. Um, so, like I said, I'm no expert, you know, so I, I try not to be, uh, I'm just not a perfect person and I, I never try to be. Um, but this will be, this will stay here, this, this uh, stud here. Uh, no sense of taking it out. Um, there's, I don't see no reason for it. It's wide enough doorway that you can get in and out of here. I mean, down the road, um, even Paisley Girl, tonight when she looks at this, she might say, oh, I want that removed. Yeah, well, if she wants that removed, fine, I'll remove it then. It's not going to be that hard to remove it. You can um, chill. So, that wouldn't be hard to remove. This here, we're just going to keep like it is because, like I said before, uh, this has got the old, uh, you can, it's got studs right back here. So, there's no sense of removing any of this. I just got to cut a piece out here and fasten it up onto the studs here. And that way she can paint this. Um, I'm probably going to. Oh, I'm five six. I know 
I didn't know they stacked it that high, but they do. Um, yeah. But anyways, I, I will probably take the door probably right up to here. It's our bedroom. Um, I don't, I don't think that I need to take it up too high. Um, as a matter of fact, what I'll do is, because like I showed you in uh, previous clips, uh, yesterday, uh, Monday's clip, um, there's that thing that comes off the, 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 in Carmen's room and into our room. I don't know if that was where they had the old ducking system at. Uh, so, I'm I don't want to go too high up here because I'd be just, I'd be wasting time and cutting and, um, so I will go into her room once I get, because right now I'm only halfway up to her wall. Um, so what I need to do is, um, once I get, once I get to here, um, uh, I'll stop here and look and see how far I'm up. And then I'll probably go in her room and then right above that ducking or whatever that false wall thing is across there. Um, I will probably I'll cut right through out. there. And that way, I'll probably make, I'm going to say I'm making this arch. I kind of like how I did this right here, so I could make this an arch, um, arch it out in here. Um, so, yeah. Got a little damage back here. Um, some of it was for me, and some of it was this hidden from the previous owner, so. Not all me. Uh, when I was cutting through the wall here, um, I didn't mean to, but I ended up cutting a little bit into uh, Carmen's regular wall here where the two outlets were at. It happens, you know. Um, um, so all I have to do is go in there and I got uh, mud to put on there and I can smooth it out. Won't even know it's, it was there. It was, it you get it out there. right at the door. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited. I, I think this looks really good, promising. And like I said, the um, down here, I don't know what it is. I Carmen. I really don't. Uh, it's uh, well, here I'll bring you in here and I'll show you what I'm looking at. And I'll Greg, explain to you. Then I got to get Carmen cleaned up from her breakfast. Alright, let me take you off here. Do, 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 do. Turn on the lights. We'll come in here and see what I'm... Look at this. I don't... I don't know what that is. See how it is? It's a smooth wood. I don't know. It only goes right there. I don't know if they just. And see, I can't. And there's no outlet or no. There's no plugging there. This piece of drywall is the old style drywall. You can't really see it, but. But look at this old wood. Let me tear off. See how it is right here? That's how they used to do it back in the old days. Boys and girls. Try to tear off some more here. You see I got this right here. And I can't see what's on this other side until I cut through here. But here's the old, uh, can you see the old drywall that they just covered up? Um, so... Yeah, I know. This is strange. Uh, these old houses, you find all kinds of weird things in them. And if someone knows, comment down below in the video what, or if they even know what that, because uh, I don't think it's part of a building, because it looks like it was stained at one time. So, I will bring you back once I get the finished product done. Um, once I get everything finished up, I'm going to take some of this stuff out to the barn. I got stuff out to the barn. But, uh, yeah. And he comes to get out her door. So, uh, 
this wasn't too hard to take off these and see there's that what I was talking about right here that I need to cover up put a piece of board there um, and just tack it down I don't think I need to put uh, 20 bolts or 20 screws into it um, like I said back there in that corner we'll we'll mud that out um, this is, was done by me and this was done previously so I don't know what happened there but um, and then there's that little L shape when I was cutting through I didn't know that I was actually touching that wall um, oops but it happens you know like I said I'm not perfect so uh, in case you really want to know what this is this is our little fairy window as, as Paisley Girl and Carmen call it it looks straight out to the, the future uh, uh, three sister garden so uh, yeah, I'm going to get off here and uh, take a break and get Carmen cleaned up. And then I will bring you back here in a few minutes. Well, welcome back. Oh, it's going on 6 o'clock in the evening. I've got all the, everything to cleaned up, debris. Dusting will be on another day. <laughs> Putting stuff back on the shelf another day. I still got to get the tools and, and uh, a few other things done outside. And I got to come in here and fix dinner. Um, I did it. I'm really, pr I'm pretty darn proud of it. I, I like how it turned out. Um, there's a few things that needs to be done. Uh, framing it in and put a new door frame in and that whole thing. But that's a, that's another project for another day. And. You can only do so much in one day, and uh, um, so oh, I wanted I knew what I wanted to show you real quick, guys. Remember that thing I was showing you in the video? I, I don't know what it was. This is what it was. Now, this is part of the old drywall, this was down in there. To me, this looks like a railing. I've never seen a building project. I mean, and I've looked down the wall inside here. Because um, you can look down inside here. Um, it was only one section. So I, I don't know. They ran out of wood and they... Um, I would assume this is not from the previous owner, but from the, the previous owner. Um, but I could have been wrong. Um, but uh, don't understand that whole process. But hey, whatever. Like I said, when I felt it, it was like really smooth. And I'm like, what is that? To me, it looks like a railing. Part of a railing. You know, you, you grip a whole side of it. Um, I don't know. But I did find out what it, I mean, at least I know now that it was definitely not a structural type building material. If this is something totally out there. Um, but this is the old... Uh, wallpaper that was behind that board um, so if you like this DIY project of making a taking a wall and turning it into a doorway um, make sure you subscribe make sure you hit the like button um, now we can get new updates uh, Carmen loves her new doorway um, I think she hasn't really realized that she can't talk to mom and dad anymore but I'm sure she's going to find a way. Um, let's see what else. But, uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like. Uh, as we say around here, the Grateful Rose River Homestead. Peace, love, and joy comes from knowing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And as for my, me and Paisley Girl, we love you. And we just thank you for everything. And we are praying for your family. And God bless America. And, uh. And God bless each one of you, and uh, long live the Republic, and I'm Mike. I gotta go. Talk to you all soon. See you on the next video. I'll go this way. Alright, talk to you later. Hi, Carmen. What you doing? I'm You want the Dorito Galaxy?